Okay, I said right. Uh, there's a bit of mandatory chemistry here, but not a ton. Um, general rule, uh, oxides plus water makes acids. Uh, there's a lot of exceptions to that, but when you're in apes, that's a good thing to remember. So uh, carbon dioxide plus water makes carbonic acid. Uh, nitrogen oxides plus water make nitric acid. And sulfur, um, sulfur oxides plus water makes sulfuric acids. Um, unfortunately, I think that this is one of those things you just kind of got to memorize, and it's not very easy to do if you don't have any chemistry background, you'll notice these reactions are not balanced. So a lot of times kids who've had chemistry were forced to balance reactions. These aren't balanced reactions. They're just ingredients that end up making a product. Um, so you don't have to know the whole chemical reactions, just these, um, which are kind of like cliff notes of a chemical reaction. Uh, you'll notice that there's always carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. It's naturally occurring in our atmosphere. So there's always carbonic acid in rain, and that's why all rain is acid rain, because there's always CO2 in the atmosphere. There's always carbonic acid in rain. It's a weak acid. There's not a ton. But anyway, all rain is slightly acidic. By adding more CO2, humans have made rain a little more acidic. And then by adding more nitrogen and sulfur oxides, we've made rain much more acidic. Um, all acids aren't created equal. Sulfuric acid is a very strong one. Um, it's interesting to point out that problems with acid rain are often gradual. So it'll like get worse and get worse and get worse. And uh, problems with acid rain are often seasonal because rainfall is usually seasonal. Uh, sometimes industrial output is seasonal. Um, you should know that, uh, I didn't put it in my slide, but I guess you can tell, um, acid rain is a secondary pollutant right? Because humans make the ingredients, one of, humans make one of the ingredients, and our atmosphere gives us back something new. So we make the emissions in gas form, the atmosphere spits out rain, which is different. It's more acidic than normal. So that's a secondary pollution. Um, you should know that it's not just rain, um, acid fog is possible, acid hail. Um, acid snow is considered the worst because it all thaws at once. So you could have a long winters of acid snow all piled up in the forest. And then in the spring, when that snow melts over a few weeks, you would get this giant flood of acids coming down the river. And there are some major impacts, but I'll tell you up front, nobody's going to melt. Like if you were in the world's strongest acid rain event, like the absolute worst moment ever known in the history of acid rain, you would feel like there was some watered down lemon juice raining on you. So it would sting your eyes. It would sting cuts. But that's the worst it could possibly get. And usually it's not that bad. Um, it is bad enough to change chemistry in the soil. That really affects soil microbes. Remember that uh, topsoil is like this ecosystem of shuffling ingredients. Um, remember the thing about B and B or R and R. Um, acid rain is especially problematic for anything which breathes or breathes in water. Acids affect your ability to breathe in water, and acids affect your ability um, to lay eggs, uh, for the sperm to meet the egg, um, for larvae to develop in water. So anything that you can think of that breeds or breeds in waters, fish, amphibians, some reptiles breed in water, most insects breed in water. Some insects also breathe in water. Uh, those can all be affected. Um, this is interesting and kind of difficult to explain. You should know that rocks naturally 
erode. It's normal that when rain falls on rocks, the rocks will fall apart. And it's also normal that some rocks contain heavy metals that might be hazardous, like mercury is mined out of rocks and uh, lead is mined out of rocks and cadmium and stuff. Now, acids increase the rate of erosion of heavy metals from rock where they are naturally occurring. So if you live in a place that has plain old sandstone, acid rain would make the sandstone wear away faster, but who cares, it's sandstone eroding. That may not be a big thing. But if you live in a place where your sandstone has high deposits of uranium, when the rain becomes acidic, you'll get more of that uranium in your runoff because it's naturally occurring it melts out of those rocks more quickly so this can be tricky where they are naturally occurring write that carefully where they're naturally occurring acid rain accelerates the erosion of heavy metals um for humans, acid rain's a big whoop uh, because it messes up paint and cement and mortar and grout, and it accelerates rusting and weakening of metals. So this has a huge impact, like a very expensive impact on um, statues, towers, and bridges. Um, and if you can get acid rain to the point where these acids reach your bloodstream, um, this can actually be very dangerous. So oxidized particulates, right? Like a little piece of coal ash that might have sulfur oxides on it. When that gets stuck in your lungs, that's very dangerous because changing the pH of your blood is very bad. Having extra acids around, um, these are the oxidants thing. So this uh, damages bonds, affects your DNA, um, makes it more difficult to breathe, um, raises your blood pressure. This is all part of that big category of air pollution impacts for humans. Um, one last thing that's also not on this slide. I'd like to be really clear where I said it's often gradual and often seasonal. That should also say it's very localized. Like if you live a, in a part of town where there's a smokestack from a coal burning power plant, your rain will be different than somebody who lives a few miles away without the smokestack. There, this rain will be cleaner when it rains on the smoke from the smokestack, you make acid rain. So remember this can be very, very localized. Um, you often see like bullseyes of impact around the source of the oxides, the socks, the knocks or the carbon oxides. Um, localized, gradual, seasonal, should have said that, sorry. It's a lot of notes, getting cruising today.